Hello students, welcome to another question on domain and range. This time it is The question is in the rule form. So this is x comma y that is y equals 1 upon 1 plus x square so this implies fx is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square well for domain one can easily see that x square is greater than or equal to 0 and the given expression is a rational expression we have constant in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. So it's a rational expression. X squared is greater than or equal to zero. But if we add one on both the sides, so you can see that one plus X squared is never equal to zero because it is always a positive quantity greater than or equal to one. Therefore, the domain of the function is X is belonging to R. And you can also take a hint from whatever is given to us that x is belonging to r. So the domain of the function is x is belonging to r. Now coming on to the range. For range, we have to convert dependent to independent. We cross multiply. And now the target will be to get x in terms of y that is we'll convert x to be the dependent variable and y will be the independent variable why we have written plus minus because we know that x can be any value so it is x is belonging to r from domain so it is plus minus now, because this is the square root, so the target will be that this expression must be greater than or equal to zero. Now we have to find the critical point. So for finding the critical points, you orally put or you you put one minus y is equal to zero. With that, you get is y is equal to one, and you also put y equals to zero. That is the denominator. You put denominator is equal to zero. So with that, you get two critical points as one and zero. But try to do it orally. Well, because y is in the denominator, so we have two critical points, one and zero. One can participate because if you put y is equal to one, it is one minus one upon one, and that is zero. But if you put y is equal to zero, it will turn everything to infinity. So we have two critical points, one will participate, but zero will be taken as the open interval. So now to get the expression greater than or equal to zero, we draw a number line. Now take any number from minus infinity to zero, you will see that, say, if I put minus 5, the numerator will turn to positive, but the denominator will be negative. So the net effect will be negative. Now put any number between 0 and 1. Say, I put 1.5. So my numerator as well as denominator both will be positive. So the net effect will be a positive quantity. Similarly, put any number between 1 and plus infinity. You will see that denominator is positive but numerator is becoming negative so the net effect will be negative since we need one minus y upon y to be greater than or equal to zero so we take only this much part and the range becomes open interval of zero to close interval of one this is really an important question watch it carefully and try to solve more questions bye bye thank you